do you work at a co-location data center or do you sell to or partner with co-location data centers? If you work in a marketing, sales, business development, CS, product or executive role, and you're curious about how to get more leads and clients for your data center related business, definitely make sure that you take a moment or two and watch this short video excerpted from a webinar recording we held a little bit while back. If you find this content helpful, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell button so you can be notified when new videos like this come out. How should we go about lead generation finding these new clients? Yeah, absolutely. That's an excellent question. And as, as we touched on a little earlier with the answer to one of the questions, as you'll see up there on the screen, SMART goals are critical. S-M-A-R-T. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Everyone can say, I want more leads, I want more clients, I want more revenue. How much more? Because once we understand how much more, we can build a plan backwards to, to go, taking the funnel in reverse and see, okay, this is how much revenue we need. This is the average deal size. What's the conversion rate from, from opportunity to closing those deals? How many sales ready leads do we need to get to those many opportunities? How many marketing qualified leads do we need to get to those sales ready leads? And how many website visitors do we think we need? So you're working completely backwards in the funnel once you have an idea of what some of those goals are. And just like when you're growing up and you're in school and you have like a three month project and you break it down into milestones, or for those of you that have been project managers at some point in your career where you take a massive project and chop it up and did back in the day um, something like Microsoft Project, more currently maybe it's something like um, Trello or, um, or Jira or Basecamp or something like that where we take something and we chop it down into dozens or hundreds of different parts. It's the same th kind of thing with your goals. So you want to make sure that you have goals that are specific to each stage of the funnel. You need to make sure that you have the right technology platforms in place to measure those. They should be attainable based on resources and past history. They obviously need to be relevant to the overall mission of what your company is trying to achieve. And one of the most important parts is the T, the time bound part. We must have time related deadlines to this. Otherwise, it's just a fiction, it's just a pipe dream, and it's really, really hard to go about improving your lead generation and going about finding new clients. But you know, once those goals are in place, set out to do your buyer persona research, and the buyer persona research will inform everything that you do going forward with your premium content offers and everything that you're going to do on social media, everything you're going to do on blogging, if you're doing any kind of paid promotion on search or, or paid social or things along those lines. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SB Home Run. We're so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos just like this go live. Thanks. We hope you're having a great day and we wish you great success.